I don't need the embarrassment of going, excuse me, can I get someone to open the oil of Olay for my beautiful porcelain right. skin? That makes sense, because you don't want people to know what. Well, I've been using wrinkle cream for 25 years and my nuts still look like raisins. I think this is a good part for an intermission. I'm going to take a break. Okay, it looks like you need one. Yeah, I'm going to take a break and then regroup. Regroup okay. on your questions. Yeah. And then get a little bit more focused because this podcast is fucking. It's really kind of sucking. It's not even hard. a fucking podcast. Well, it's, you just, well, it's just like, you fucking with me, dude. Well, when you come in and kick the cameras over, I mean, what am I supposed to I need do? A break, dude. Take a break. Take about, can you take about two hours? You're riding down the Harland Highway. love where you're headed with this whole thing. Get going here. Oh, you got a podcast happening today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hit the theme music right away because I got a major guest, not a minor guest. A major guest. This guy is off the wall. Uh, This guy is like dynamite exploding on TNT. This guy's like, if you saw ACDC's tour bus roll and just everyone get crashed up and crunkled and crinkled up, this guy's like a sushi roll, like a lobster roll, but without the lobster. I mean, this guy, this guy will flip you How around. How the fuck could you be a sushi roll without the lobster, dude? If you're going to fucking introduce me, well, do it properly. Don't fucking make people think weird shit. No, but what I'm trying to do, this is called a buildup. Like, I'm building you up more than any other guest I've ever had. You're going to love it. So this guy's like a flapjack that hasn't even been flipped at IHOP. Uh, You're going to love this guy. He's like a muffin top on a fat girl that's sliding down the stairs at the uh, Kennedy Center. Like a slinky made out of flubber. Here he is, gang, on the Holla Highway podcast. Polly Zachary Shore is here. Polly. Polly Shore is here, gang. And uh, this guy's, I don't think if you've ever seen Secretariat at the, at the Kentucky Derby, explosive out of the gate, like just, like blows it, like just boom. And that's the kind of guest, when you get Polly, it's like, boom, the gates, the doors fly open. It's like, I don't know if you ever saw the old Clint Eastwood movies where the, he kicks the saloon doors open you know, and like he's standing the- there. That's I, like you yeah, I right feel, now. I feel like someone is kind of holding me back, like invisibly, which is very good because if, if they weren't holding me back invisibly, what I'd be doing is a choke your motherfucking dumbass, fucking goy, well, look. fucking Christian ass neck, bitch. Well, Biot, you're just sitting there like a Siamese toadstool with fucking crackle water on it. Like, make like the Amazon rainforest and drip. Or do well, we something. Have, you know, we have some issues. We have some deep seated things that are happening between us. Yeah, but this which is, is you know, well, which is I, you know, part on. of me wants this to be. Well. Part of me wants to be here, and part of me wants to fucking leave, dude. Well, why don't you go outside, get the part of you that wants to be here to punch the part of you that wants to leave right in the fallopian tubes? Well, if then... people understood, right now the comments. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I see whoa. the comments coming in, and you they're do? disrespecting me. But if they knew how you were disrespecting me, then they would understand Wait why I'm disrespecting you. I just gave you the best buildup of any guest I've ever had. You were like a pepperidge farm cake with a triple yeast infection, the way I came out at you. Yeah, I understand that, but this is all bullshit. You're doing your stupid ass shtick. No, they don't no, know no. what it's like when they don't know what it's like when the shtick is fucking gone. When the cameras are off, they don't know how you fucking treat me, dude. They know. You need they to can... stop treating me the way that you treat me. If you treat me more properly, then maybe I'll come out with boom, 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 like the lobster roll open. Okay. Let's get this shit off the fucking table let's start it again here we go ready no 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 we're not doing another fucking open i don't have that bullshit i want to do it right we're good on it you called me out you're right i'm agreeing with you so let me do it right how's that sound i just think this is gonna be a 
Okay, do whatever. It's is your your fucking okay. Hers- this is your Hershey Highway. So go. But I get go it. about it how you want to go about it. No, the way you you eloquently put that, I get it. I did double dupe, double dutch you. Well, whenever I see you, banana around. I know. I'm kind of like I- wrong time Charlie. Like, oh, here he comes, and then da da, and then you text me, please do my podcast, and I show up, and I want to be gracious and I want to be put presentable to you. But whenever we see each other in person, you kind of like you do this to me, like I'm. A fart or something. Okay, but you say all that, but then you show up in a pink girl's shirt. And it leaves me going, okay, does he really want to be here? Is he being respectful? Does he want a mega power intro like I gave him? And then you show up in a gap, baby gap girl's pink yeah, shirt. I just think that there's there's un, unanswered business between us. And I think once we get the unanswered business between us off our chest, then I can be this, the, the charming Fucking, you know, weasel, weaselly guy. So let's just talk about it. Do you want the the new intro, or do you want to? Well, just... you're supposed to say, "Take your glasses off." That was something we talked about. What do you say? What do you, Roy Orbison? You didn't say that part either, right? But what bothers me? Have you ever seen a goat's eyes? And they have the pupils that go this way. Listen, you motherfucker. No, you've got goat's gonna... eyes. No, you've listen, got Satan listen ghost. To me. Listen, listen Carol. to me. Coral... If I give you the intro, you fucking give it the way that I ask you to do it. You don't fucking. Do... Stop fucking looking yeah, at me I'm like looking at your Eastwood. fucking goat eyes. Your, your irises go sideways like a wild mountain goat. What and that's you, not my fault. Do you have fault. an iPad? What do you fucking have OnlyFans page up here? I do have an OnlyFans page. And I'm doing a full spread later. I'm doing three spread eagles and a coconut cream uh, tilt-a-whirl. What's the, you, you don't want to make right, money? Well, you, anyways, what's up? Welcome to the show, you guys. He obviously oh. didn't fucking... He obviously didn't pay attention to the intro off camera when we decided we we're going to do something fun. And you didn't play along with it. Why not? No, because I, I was going to play along, but I thought if anyone <sighs> deserves a huge intro, it's the wild cat from down under. Are you Australian? I am, mate. I'm from Bondi Beach, mate. And I go down there all the time, mate, because I'm bum up a bar soap. Now, are you? Dude, because you're Chinese fucking motherfucker. You motherfucking Chinese fuck. Oh, fuck. It's not, don't fucking laugh it off, you son of a bitch. Dude, it's hard to look you in the goat eyes. Like, dude, <laughs> I'm telling you, not many people have sideway irises like I don't a goat. have sideway irises. Look in the camera. You have your, your they go sideways like a You're right. Malaysian mountain grinder or whatever they're called. Cool. Oh, no. But, dude, just... The chill. Are we gonna give another intro? Yeah, let's do one more okay. intro, and then I'll 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 powder it down a little Copy. bit. Copy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know him from movies like Powder, Philadelphia, Days of Thunder, Days and Confused, Days and Confused, War of the Gorgantuans, Papillon, Papillon with Steve McQueen mm. and Dustin Hoffman, and Dustin Hoffman. He once made a bunt cake so thick. That Carol Burnett chewed through it with her gopher teeth. He also put his finger in a Canadian's asshole once, and I think you were the one. Whoa, bro. That just, whoa. I'm dialing it back now. You stepped on your own inch blow. Intro. Buds, welcome. Whoa. (laughs) Chinese. Let me fix that for you. The dog? Your no, that dog. wasn't the fucking dog. That was the spirit that you created in this shitty fucking room. You got these dumbass lights from Amazon, which cost you $39, thirty nine ninety nine. You got this dumbass fucking camera from fucking, you know, from, from B&H, which cost you $3. You know, you should have someone fucking working this shit behind you, dude. What? You do these fucking shows. <laughs> Look at that! You got the light pointing at the roof now. Oh, okay. it's got a point on at you. The star at the star. No, it's got a point at you. There we go. Oh. Chinese, is this good straight? Well, that's the three shot. So look in the monitor and see if it's doing the three. Because oh, you're. I'm your fucking DP. Well, you look like one. Okay. And DP, by the way, stands for dirty penis. Oh, wow. Are you wiggling it around nice? Like, wiggle it nice. There it is. So you're not on. Is that okay? Oh, so it's just a two-shot, but just with you. (laughs) 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 So it should be both of us. It should be me and you. I know. If 
fucking two shot his cunt face. Well, you don't look like you know what a two shot. You look like you just stepped off a subway and slipped a cucumber in your trousers. Wow. Okay. What do you think? Looks good. Are we lined I up? Wanna, I just want to make sure that it's press play, though, because I don't know if the press play is working. Oh, maybe I should go and look. Yeah. Well, I think I press play. Okay, let me look. You, can you hold down the podcast for yeah. a second? I thought I had a fucking no budget for my show. I know. You do well, the fucking shooting, you're the DP, you're the editor. Oh, wow, you, you did pretty good. You <coughs> Yeah. I say you just go into the questions. I don't think well, we need wait, the big Well, wait, wait, before we do that, I like to give credit where credit's due. Okay. So because you set up all that camera stuff so nice, would you, and this I'm asking as a friend, would you be an associate uh, producer, executive, VP, in charge of development? Uh, for the Harlan uh, Productions? For the Harlan Highway Productions? Highway. Yeah, absolutely. Would you be, you'd be an executive VP uh, yeah. development. I'm out of order. You're out, out of, of order. order. This whole courtroom is out of motherfucking <laughs> order. order. Yeah. What la- what accent was that? Uh, was that? I don't know. Was it Italian? It's a scene out of one of my classic films, Jury Duty. Oh, yeah. Of course, yeah. you auditioned for it. You couldn't get it. But anyways. I know. I did start. audition for the female lead. Yeah. And I didn't get it. Chinese. Japanese. I really think dirty knees. I really Look think at these. so. D. <laughs> um, have you ever done Ancestry.com? I have not. I want to, though. Okay. I had a feeling you didn't, and I looked up some stuff. Oh, wow. On you. Wow. I think you're going to appreciate what I did after. What? I know what you're going to say. Okay, tell me that. You're going to say I'm part Persian. You're going to say I'm a fucking... No. You're going to say that I'm a a dirty gypsy. Well, everyone knows that. And then you're going to say that I'm also um, part Czechoslovakian. I know you're going to say all that. Czechoslovakia what? Czechoslovakian. No thanks, I'm busy. It's the northern part of uh, the Ukraine. (laughs) The Czechoslovakian. Yeah. All right, get those fucking readers on, you old, old timer. Check this out, bro. So I went in deep, and what I did, I didn't even, I didn't even, um, I didn't even Ancestry.com your last name. I just did the first name, Polly. Hmm. And you might like this because I brought up some stuff that you might not be aware of, and I might even educate you here a bit today. I wouldn't say you might educate me. You will educate me. Praise Jesus. Allah, Hi. coming home. Chinese. Chinese! Wow. Do you want some Chinese food? You've said it about eight times. Can I get you some spring rolls or some sweet and sour beef or some feng fu, fao feng, fi fi fo, fa fi fa, he fa? No, I like the uh, orange chicken. No, thanks. I'm busy. Okay, so let's go to... <laughs> so listen, you don't... This is stuff you don't know and you've probably never thought about. What is the history... Of Polly, Wally, Doodle all the day. I think it's kind of a... um... Yeah, breathe, guy. Breathe like you're pregnant and her baby's coming out. I think it's more of a Polly, Polly, Wally, Doodle all the day. I think that's from uh, uh, A Little House in the Prairie. Uh, Michael Landon um, scene from there where Haas comes in. He says, oh, man, coming down from the prairie. We got Polly Ollie Doodle all day sometime. Wait, you don't know the old song? Well, I went down south to the Jesus uh, singing Polly Wally Doodle all, all the day. That's Canadian shit, dude. I don't know that shit. But listen to the lyrics. I printed them up because I think you needed to know. I went down south for to see my Sal. To see my Sal? Who's Sal? S-A-L. I don't know. I singing was... Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Or right. if you want to say singing Polly Shore Doodle all the day. That, that takes the cadence out of it, but go on. I'm still and then she you. goes, my Sal, she am a spunky gal. What are you, Bazooka Joe all no, of I'm a getting sudden? getting ready for a crash and scrab and grab later. I'm getting my, I'm doing a scratch and grab. What's that, like a lottery ticket? No, it's where I go and steal shit from fucking, you know, CVS and Walgreens and Rite Aid. Are you going shoplifting later? Yeah. We, Can I, I got, go? Yeah, I got my scratch and grab friends. What are you going to grab? We're going to grab Tide, condoms, uh, you know, soap. Can I get the, con- the uh, tampons with wings? Yeah, you can get those. 
because I've always wanted to put like 40 or 50 on my body and see if I can fly. Well, because okay. imagine if I got 40 or 50 and there's two wings on each one, I'm going to have It's kind of like pussy wings. Yeah, I'm going to get It's kind of like pussy wings. What are they? Pussy wings. Do they have those at KFC? Yes. Mm. Barbecue Extra or crispy, rhythmal, best pep, pep, pep. You look like you're about to rob a train, bro. I'm going to rob your I'm going to rob low. Rob your low, you're for easy praying mantis. The mantis sits at, during the day. The mantis rides look, at night. Are going out. Everything's going to break again. It already broke. You broke the internet. I'm going to scratch and grab, motherfucker. I'm going to take this shit. Dude, the praying mantis rides at night, not during the day. Chinese motherfucking Sit space. Sit down, Panda Express. You don't know nothing because I'm going to touch your asshole, you Dude, fucking... the praying mantis rides at night, Look, not the during the day. back on, Chinese. See? <laughs> you are, you're like the magic train robber. No. Hey, folks, we have a cool new sponsor today, Aura. And uh, holy smokes, are you tired of constantly receiving spam phone calls on the old telephonio? To the point where you don't even want to answer your phone anymore. <laughs> I think we've all had that. You're like, wait, do I do, is, do I know someone from Pittsburgh? Wait, is that Uncle Billy in, in Texas? It, it's like you, you, you're driving you crazy, right? So here's how Aura helps. Uh, data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live even. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to. But they make it super hard to do, so let Aura handle it for you, okay? Aura also does so much more than protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. And it's really easy to set up. So you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price, okay? Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind, okay? And check this out. You get a two-week free trial through signing up with my unique link. And here it is. Ready? Aura.com backslash Harlan. Boom. Enjoy your Aura.com at Aura.com backslash Harlan. And I can't even call you to thank you because you'll probably have me blocked. And now a quick word from my bookie. If you found a $100 bill on the ground, you wouldn't walk past it, right? So why are you passing up on cashing winners every weekend? My bookie has the biggest online selection of odds and contests to fill all your sports betting needs anytime, anywhere, so you can turn that sports knowledge into cash in your wallet. Bid on the NFL... MLB playoffs, or play for a share of big cash prizes in the weekly blackjack tournaments. If you've been waiting for the right time to get in on the action, that time is now. Make your winning move today. Sign up at mybookie.ag. Use the promo code Harlan, that's me, H-A-R-L-A-N-D, and claim your deposit match redeemable up to $1,000. Again, that's promo code HARLAND to claim your bonus. Experience the thrill of sports betting right from the comfort of your home. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie, mybookie mybookie.ag. Good luck, everybody. And now back to the podcast. Um, So So I'll sing the song. That's cool. Because I haven't heard that since I was a kid. Right, but that's your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who, what, what other of your friends would take the time to look that up? But moi. That's true. None of your other loser friends, yeah. Mitch Hedberg or Donnie Osmond or 
Paul Lind, all your loser posse. Soupy Sales. Soupy Sales, but who? Harlan Williams Highway. Listen, here's some more. Oh, grasshopper sitting on a railroad track singing Polly Shore Doodle all the day, just picking his teeth with a carpet tack, singing Polly Shore Doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. What's a fay? I think that was someone on Hollywood Squares. Wasn't Fairy Faye up yeah, in the that's corner? Right. That's, um, what's his name? Bruce, Jen- Bruce Valanche. Oh, Bruce Valanche. You remember him? No, thanks. I'm busy. Um, for I'm going to Louisiana to see my Susie Anna. Mm. Singing Polly, Polly Wally, Wally Doodle, Doodle all the day. day. Behind the barn, down on my knees, singing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. I thought I heard a chicken sneeze. Singing Polly, fucking Wally, fucking Doodle, all the fucking you gotta day. Do, you got to say the day part how I say it. Day. 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 And then you go Chinese. 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 Exactly. What is that, a Chinese elk? What is that? Mm. What's this part? I don't know. We're just flowing, bro. But who's down on their knees? Like it says, fare thee well, my fairy fay, behind the barn down on my knees. I thought I heard a chicken sneeze. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. This is some deep stuff. Did Morrison write this stuff? Is this a Doors? When did the questions start? Okay, hold on. We're, they're going to start in a second, but here's another one. Polly want a cracker. Did mm. you ever wonder where that came from, Polly? Where did that come from? See, I knew you'd be interested. See, now you're understanding why we're such good friends that see? never see each other all year. Yeah. Wait, what? Ooh. <laughs> Listen, uh, Polly Want a Cracker originated in the late 1800s. Jesus. The American Biscuit Company, in an effort to boost sales of its gross soda crackers, started an advertising campaign for the company's parrot brand. The ad featured a parrot, a macaw, standing. Caca, caca, well, caca, I... caca. You That's know a macaw. No, that was the doctor on Star Trek. Huh, okay. Uh, standing on a perch with one foot holding a cracker. Dude, this is the shit I do for you. What other, what other of your loser friends? Bobby Lee, uh, Skunk Allrich, uh, Tony Curtis. Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony Hinchcliffe. But they don't do Bobby, this. They don't do the research. They don't do the stuff I do. No, they don't do the research. I'm well, going to stay a while. Well, yeah, I think you just exposed your pink shirt a little deeper. Why a pink shirt though? Can I ask? Why why would why would you go with a pink shirt? Honestly. Well, because within no time, the way you edit this fucking podcast is probably not gonna come out till February fourteenth, which equals Valentine's Day. And if you think of Valentine's Day, what's the color? Pink. Pink. Dude. So they timed it out for you. Dude. I think Hold of on. you. Chinese, I think of you. I think you do. Dude, you the foresight you have. Your foresight's almost as deep my as your ears, foreskin. My ears. I mean, my eyes. My oh, eyes. Oh, don't go there, girlfriend. Mm. Why did I call you girlfriend? Um, we just got a few more, and then the questions start. Polywog. Oh, wow. Have you ever, you, you caught a polywog when you were a kid, didn't you? I did not. What? You've never, have you ever seen a polywog? You hang not. out in swamps. <laughs> What the F, bro? No, these are good questions. Shoot, none of your other greasy friends would do this for you. Carol Burnett? Do you want me to stay here or something? Is that what's happening? Is no. This, is just... this your luring me, your fucking old gay man up in the Hollywood Hills? Jimmy... Luring me to come stay at your house? Down behind the barn, down on my knees, singing Polly Wally Doodle, Doodle all the day. day. Yeah. Well, and what's the rest part? So the Pollywog... Is a tadpole, it's a type of larva, the immature, free-living form of most invertebrates and amphibians and fish, which at hatching from its egg is fundamentally unlike its parents and must metamorphose. Wow. Do you have the new eye metamorphophose? I don't know what that is, but um, I will probably purchase it after this this uh, afternoon's uh, uh, extravaganza show here. And the last one... Oh, shit, I don't have my headphones on. Sorry. Say that again. One more time. I'm going to say yes. 
That's probably best. And the last one, buddy, and then we can get into the questions. Polyphila. Have you ever put, applied polyphila anywhere? I don't know what polyphila is. So Polly's never done polyphila. Correct. So it's when you, well, let me read it. Cool. Right, this is all from Ancestry.com, guy. Polyphila, in 1953, a Czech chemist working in England invented the first DIY water-soluble wallpaper paste. Polycell, he set up the Polycell Company in London, and the following year, 1954, developed Polyphila, the first cellulose-based plaster and wood filler. Mm. Until then, Poly, fillers for cracks and bricks were mixed by tradesmen from two parts plaster of Paris and one part whiting carbonate of lime. On dying, the mixture expanded and required cutting back. It's also tended to crumble, but polyphila using a cellulose gave a superior bond and did not expand and gave a smooth, flat finish. So all of a sudden, you're Adam Carolla. You're like a, you're like a, a, a contractor. Because if we give this information to the Corolla master, he could be good because this is polyphila that started in 1954. Why can't I just be a friend that's trying to inform you and help you with your your heritage? Why do I have to be Adam All right, I'll, shi I'll shift back to Thank you so much for doing this research. You're very welcome. I think that's very nice. It's a giver. You're a giver. You're not a taker. Yeah. So um, this is a nice thing. So thank you so much. But uh, what's interesting is that... Uh, so what's interesting is that... Uh, is that uh, uh, my mom didn't come up with my name from Polyphila or Polywog or Polywally Doodle all day. Well, where'd she come up with? There had to be one of them. No, no, no. Drum roll, please. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, I like a Chinese. <laughs> Whoa. No, she, saw, she was driving down the street and saw Polly's Automotive. And that's how she came up with it. On La Cienega, if you go down La Cienega by Pico. Yeah. Right there where you're going to the airport, you know, where you go and play these. Uh, Polly's Automotive. On the right. I got a lube job she, there last week. Well, yeah. Well, there you go. So huh. we're going to smash and grab later. So if you want to get on your. What are you going to steal at, yeah, at the thing? Uh, I might get some, uh, 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 some Altoids. Maybe oh. some Altoids. Maybe yeah. some uh, Pluckers. Possibly some uh, uh, um, <coughs> eye drops. Pluckers. You know, and you, maybe some Christmas cards. You're going to get the father pluckers or the mother pluckers? I'm going to get the motherfucker pluckers. Pluckers. Dude, you want to hear something sad? I know you're doing a bit. This is a great bit, by the way. It's one of the best I've had on the podcast. This bit that you're doing here, the railroad. Smash and grab. Smash and grab, nutty railroad, coconut cream pie face, whatever you're calling it. Yeah. I went into CVS yesterday. Yeah. And this is a sad state of affairs we live in. The shelves were half empty, okay? Yeah, kind of like my brain. Go on. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> okay, so the shelves were half empty. They were half empty, okay, in anticipation of people stealing here in California. So yeah. they don't even stock the shelves anymore. And the other shelves were behind glass, like plexiglass, like you're at a hockey rink. Yeah, locked. Like hair gels and yeah, oil locked. of Olay. Yeah, oil of Olay is yeah. an expensive. Yeah. I use it. I yeah. should know. I use it. I use the wrinkle cream. Yeah. Um, underarm deodorants. Yeah. Normal things that you just used to be out. Now, I don't want to go shopping and go, oh, excuse me, can I find an attendant to help me get some peanut butter? Yeah, Like it, it, this shoplifting thing, in order to service the people who are allowed to shoplift, the rest of us who make money and pay taxes, we got, well, I don't even want to go shopping anymore because yeah. there's nothing there. It's locked up. It's, I got to get an attendant. And then, yeah, and then when you, when, you, when you go to the front and you say, hey, we need someone to open this, yeah. they come over reluctantly. And usually yeah. they're from, you know, they usually don't have their green card. You know, they're like an illegal alien. And they get mad that they have to open it. And they're about to strike anyways. Dude, and also, I don't need the embarrassment of going, excuse me, can I get someone to open the oil of Olay for my beautiful porcelain right. skin? That makes sense, because you don't want people to know what? 
Well, I've been using wrinkle cream for 25 years and my nuts still look like raisins. I think this is a good part for an intermission. I'm going to take a break. Okay, it looks like you need one. Yeah, I'm going to take a break and then regroup. Regroup okay. on the questions. Yeah. And then get a little bit more focused because this podcast is fucking. It's really kind of sucking It's not even hard. a fucking podcast. Well, you it's just it's well, it's like, you fucking with me, dude. Well, when you come in and kick the cameras over, I mean, what am I supposed to I do? Need a break, dude. Take a break. Take about, can you take about two hours? Just fucking, just put an intermission thing and we'll come right back. Okay. Take, take a nice long one. Thank God he's gone. I mean, did you see that guy in his, he had a pink shirt. I think I don't know if you've heard that 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 song was by Prince. He wore a raspberry beret, but this guy was wearing like a Baskin Robbins orange sherbet raspberry sherbet beret. I mean, he comes in here, pink shirts my ass, tells me some bullshit about Valentine's Day, and I'm like, all I want to do is give this guy, you know, the lowdown on his on his ancestry. I give him the polywog. I give him polywally doodle all the day. I give him uh, polygamy. Well, I didn't give him that. I gave him uh, poly, 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 well, screw it. I'm going to take a break, too. Fuck him. I know how easily you get bored. I was going to ask you about Elvis Parsley, though. You hate that story. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, you sat on his lap, and I wonder yeah. if Elvis just went, hey, hey, hey kid, you just shit him up. You shit in your pants. Did you shit? Because you were like, what, three? Yeah. When you sat on Elvis's lap? Are we rolling? Well, that's not for you to know. Yeah. That's sort of my so here, podcast secret. So here, you're going to do oh, my show. What's this? This is my show. What is it? Tell me. It's called Jam in the Van. Jam, it's you... A ho- it's a host talk. It's a... Uh, uh, it's a... Um, uh, <laughs> the way you're dressed, you look like you have a van. Like a dirty white van down, like... Yeah. You look like you ride around in a van. I do. Like I unwashed. Yeah, dirty, right? Just a dirty van. Not you, the van. Yeah, no, the your van's, van's dirty. Mine clean. Now your, your van's probably got like 7-Eleven wrappers in it, Snickers bars, like an old donut on the on the floor. My dog, my mangy dog. Like shrimp cocktail. There's probably a shrimp cocktail sitting on the passenger seat. The autobiography of Richard Simmons is there. Talk, talk to me about this Richard Simmons connection. I don't Simmons want to connection. talk about it. Everyone I know. keeps fucking asking me I about know, it. I know, but you look like him. You act like him. You... Hello, everybody. What a beautiful, what a beautiful, healthy-looking audience. Oh, my God. You know, um, every day I try to find a moment to bring me peace. And every day it's something completely different. You're more like a piece of cake, fatty. Pulling, o- pulling over on the side of the road and just turning the radio off. Crying to when Harry met Sally, and, and today it's a donut. <sighs> there was a time in my life when food was the only thing that brought me peace. Food was very nice to me, and, <laughs> and I wasn't nice to myself. Dude, if you, Seeing, ever, I, if you ever want to become a girl, like you're there. Really? Like, if you ever wanted to, like, transition. Oh, my God, look at the beautiful, healthy-looking audience. I thought I saw it was a bug in the sky. I hit, hit the bug. And it no, fell it looks you. like you're your t- teacher at a special needs class. Well, like, I uh, am because I'm fucking with you, Harlan Williams. Tell me remember about when, yo Chinese. Remember when he did my my? Uh, remember when he did the uh, the? Uh, you know what I mean. <sighs> I guess. I mean, that's probably the most open-ended statement I've ever heard. You remember when I did the, you know what I mean? That yeah. could be anything on planet Earth. Well, we haven't done several things. We were on two or three, pretty much. Two or three what? I don't know. 
Wait, ta- no, I want I want to clear up this Richard Simmons business. Because yeah. you just sort of laid it up there, left yeah. it hanging. Are you doing I want people like- be guessing me more. They want you want I them- want people be guessing me more. Guessing you. Yeah. Well, I don't know what that you want to be a guest jeans model? What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you act it like that? That sounds so well, fucking weird. Said. I, I didn't say it like I that. Said you, you said it the way I said it. I said you want to be. There's no a, way people are going to be listening to this. Dude. This, not, is, they don't this have is to. like two mental patients dude, talking for sure. Look, I asked you if you wanted to be a guest jeans model, which is a legitimate it podcast a, host is, question. I, 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 yeah, you're and right, instead right. of saying yes or no, you went. Yeah. Like a cat that just someone on a, with a rocking chair hit its tail. Yeah. Well, then the answer is probably no, no. Now you sounded like a baby trying to bust out of the womb. That's true. I mean, what is it, guy? Are you a dead cat or are you a baby trying to bubble down well, Fallopian Boulevard? Here, here's the bottom line. Can I stand during this thing? Sure. The bottom line is... <sighs> that's the bottom line. Wait that's a minute. Now you might be out of... Hold on. Let me, oh, wait, oh you're, you're sitting again? Well, in. Wait, let me give you your monitor, because that way you can know. Yeah, I'm straight on. There. I don't want to see myself. Flip it back, dude. I'll get fucking nervous. There you go. Thanks. Better. Touchy today, guy. What's going on? Are you PMSing? No, I'm doing my yoga. Oh, yeah? What, what's that stretch called? They all have this funny is, names. This is called the... Uh, this is called the horseshoe. I call it, the way I'm seeing it, it's like I smell your dirty armpits is what I call that one. And this is the other horseshoe. <sighs> like that. And then you do the push like this, and you billow the back. You know how to billow the back? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm straight. Mm. What about the praying mantis? <laughs> do you know how to do that one? I don't. Um, let me get to the first question. Do you mind? Um, oh, here we go. What was one of your favorite TV show? Favorite what? feet. Why is it every time Look, you ask a question, you, you throw your glasses? Because I'm the, trying to be a fucking Hannity. I'm trying to be a dramatic in podcast interviewer and you won't let me have my space. Now let me try it again. Okay. What was your favorite TV show growing up as a wee lad? Like when you were 13, mm-hmm. 14. What Giant you, robot. Is that real? Tell me about it. Well, um, it was a, um, fuck. <sighs> what? You know what I mean? Wait a minute. What the Do you f- understand? Giant robot, and yes. then you just go, <sighs> fuck. <sighs> was it a sexual show? No, it was, uh, it was about, um, <sighs> Because I always thought it when I was a kid. I thought it was. No, uh, it was. Um, I don't remember the premise, but I remember I used to uh, watch it a lot. But uh, it was basically about a giant robot saving like the world or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you love robots? No, I just remembered the show was good. It made me tear up. Why it did it emotional. make you tear up? I don't know. I was young and I liked it. I also liked Davy and Goliath. I thought that was oh, cool. Oh, the dog and his boy, the talking dog. Yeah, that was cool. What other young shows did I like? I, I was a big fan of Sid and Marty Croft. Oh, Sigmund, yeah. Sigmund, the, the sea, sea monster, monster, and Johnny and Scott are friends. And the banana like- bunch. Remember the banana bunch? Yeah. You want to? Can I show you? I think I have a clip of my, one of my favorite shows. Oh, now it's about you. I thought you were asking me. Well, it's only about you so we can set up and get to me. That's true. Okay, sorry. Uh, Sorry. Hang on. This was, this was, this was the show of shows. Hang on. Can I show this? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Elephant Boy. You never watched Elephant Boy? No. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Look at this. Starring Yvwa Kahuka, whatever his name is. Oh, wow. Isn't that great? Amazing. You never watched Elephant Boy? Mm-mm. 
Dude, can you but look? That's at, a good one. Can you look at me in the face for real and say you never watched Elephant I never Boy? Saw it. Can you I stop swear. picking your nose, please? Go on. No way. There's one thing you pick your nose, but then you eat it. You don't. Pe- you don't have to fucking say it. Are we, they saw me do it. You don't I have know, to but reiterate it. There's there's sort of a podcast etiquette. You let a guest pick their nose, but you don't let them eat it. Hey, those are my glasses. I went down south to see, see my sow singing, singing Polly Wally Doodle, doodle all, all the day. day. My sow, she's Here's such a spunky gal singing, singing, singing Polly Wally doodle, doodle, doodle all the day. So when I was a kid, I don't know if you had this. It looks like you might have, but did you ever have elephantitis? No. Come, be honest. Okay, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to make, because when I watched this, this show, I, could, I would make elephant noises. Are you good at elephant noises? <laughs> That was a California golden condor. I said elephant. <laughs> and I learned that from Elephant Boy. How long have we been doing this? Well, Don't say 38 minutes because I'll kill myself. You're close. 33. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's a lot of work, this podcast. Dude, you just... Can I tell you something? Because you might not be... A, <laughs> You might not be aware of this. What? When you laughed just now, a giant blue vein like appeared in your Don't forehead. Don't fucking th- throw shit out about how I look. No, but it was huge. It was. I thought there was like a caterpillar on your face. Like it just was like huge. All right, let's do. Do you want to do some questions? Yes. Wait. You, why don't you s- s- tee up a question as a guest, as a honored guest? Why don't you tee up a or question? Or here, well, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. As, no one's ever done this before on I, a podcast got, ever, ever, ever. Ready? Okay. So you know what a mime is? You know where it's like a mime? No, not a mime, but like a, a toggle like this, where you where you the puppet and they talk like that and they ask the questions. Right. Okay, I'm gonna do ventriloquist. that. Ventriloquist. Yeah, ventriloquist. And I'm gonna do the very aggressive, but. I'm going to do this. Well, do you want to d- <laughs> dummy with glasses listen. or not? Okay. I'm going to do this, and yeah. then you ask the question. Okay. So it, so is it true that, that you're, so is it true that you're going to be doing the Richard Simmons biopic? You, you did it very, that was, do it more big. Your mouth has got to move big. Dude, I. Like a real fucking like this. Okay. Okay, Can take you be two. a little sensitive? I had elephantitis when I was a boy. And I apologize, I but that's when you're a boy. You're an older man now. Here we go. Take two. Are you really good at your my, your mouth is moving too slow? It's but too my little. jaw from when I was a boy with elephantitis, I have a shit jaw. Okay. I'll try it again. A little bigger, a little bigger. Here we go. So is it true that you're really going to... But you got to look at me because now people oh, are finding, so, that it's, okay. they're, they're finding that it's fake. Okay. So look at me. Yes. Be more sincere. Don't be jokey. By the way, Here you're we, a great director. Here we go. Is it true you're really going to do the Richardson Zoyobic? You know, Harlan, I'm glad you asked me that. I'm trying to put it together right now. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a biopic that America needs. I think the world is really messed up right now. And I think that uh, Richard Simmons, kind of his message of bringing people together and mental health, I think is a good thing. No, 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 no. I'm not oh, doing it. I got to do I it. I thought I had, had no, another you question. No, no, you're just responding to it. I think that's really great that you're doing that. I think that's good. And I know you're talking about mental health. Cool. Next question. Uh, hold on. I can't stop. Oh, shit. Okay, good. Dude, I'm so sorry. I had elephantitis when I was a little boy. Mm. And my jaw, it, mm. have you ever seen an anaconda when it swallows a baby zebra? Do you see zebra? how I have one foot out the door right here? Do you see that? Well, I knew you might be coming out eventually. <laughs> okay. But my Next question. jaw, what, no, can I just explain? Because yeah. I don't want you to f- go get, away feeling disrespected. Yeah, this is me, important to me. Okay, let me get Wait, another give, drink. I can't get okay, a drink. Okay, let me settle in. Talk to them while I get a drink. Well... I don't know if I want to talk to them. I don't know if they deserve this it after. This isn't alcohol, is it? No. What is it? It's sort of got natural things in it that gives you a little, like, kick. Is it got some ketamine in it? I don't know. You could read the ingredients. I don't have my readers. Well, welcome to the Thunderdome. Next question. Or you want to go into the elephantitis thing? Well, I just want to, I just want, so you know you're not being disrespected on this podcast. This isn't a podcast. What is it? This is like a mental, mental patient fucking area, like a, like a th- hardcore therapy session. You thing? ever see one for the cuckoo's nest? That's uh, what this is. You got two cuckoos here. 
This has not been a oh. podcast. A podcast, if you've ever fucking been on a podcast, the podcast person, which is you, asks the fucking questions, and the person on the podcast, which is me, answers the questions. We haven't done shit on this. We don't fucking swear on this podcast, and I got fucking elephantitis as a boy, and I tried to tell you my jaw gets misaligned like a python when it... Re- dislocates its jaw to swallow a gazelle or a baby zebra or a wildebeest and then when you get me doing daddy don't want to mime no more whatever your shit show's called my jaw can't stop okay well now it's stopped and i'll inject there you go motherfucker i'm gonna cash and grab later on man i'm gonna take some tide i'm gonna get some pampas for my baby and shit i'm gonna get some ginger ale and maybe some motherfucking hot spring doritos dog and you ain't gonna stop me shit shit i got this motherfucker i got this dude i don't say this lightly but you look like you've been molested behind a baskin robbins with that get up on i mean you've been full ben and jerry's penetrated with that rainbow warrior outfit i mean i've did you just pick your nose and eat it again oh what are you doing you doing sucky sucky oh a sucky sucky dude, dude <laughs> sorry you don't do that on a podcast you do second that? question second question oh okay. mime 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 here we go no i'm gonna do oh it. yeah yeah hang on okay you ready okay <clears throat> Is it true you're really going to marry Drew Barrymore? Because I heard Tom Green got really mad about that. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. Oh, got dude, it. this isn't easy for me, guy. I, I wouldn't do this for anyone but you. I wouldn't do this for anyone else but a guy with a creepy van in the valley and a raspberry beret burrito bullshit. Was your favorite comedian growing up Benny Hill? No, it was Benny Hanna, the Japanese one. Oh, oh Asuna, oh. Asuna. That guy, I'd laugh so hard I'd flip a shrimp across So, the yeah, so I don't know. I haven't talked to Tom Green, but if you're out there because he's our friend because we went on that successful tour together. Remember the one Bobby Lee? What are you doing? Whoa, bro, the mantis don't. What are you... Sona time. What? Tom, we were we were we were, we we were um we were just we were investigating, we were experimenting, we were on the show, and we were just having a good time. Wait, you went out with Drew Barrymore? No, 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 no. I was engaged to her, and now it's, what? Yeah, well, me too. When were you engaged to her? A month ago. Are you serial? I'm serial. Wait, well, you never went out with Drew? I did. Well. I think we should wrap it up, dude. I don't have any presents here. What? Oh, I don't have anything to wrap up. Wait, when did you go out with Drew Barrymore? Well, um, I've known her for a long time because her mom actually was a waitress at the comedy store back in the day. So what I knew day? her when she was just a little, like, as big as my dog. You know. When By I the way, great dog. name for a serial killer. What? Barrymore. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. No, thanks. Because you I'm get busy. to bury the more in the thing. Well, I don't think you need... On my podcast, you don't need to explain the material. So since you're Canadian, did you ever... Did you do... Um, did you do... A, a, um, you know what I mean? I did about four or five of them, but then I got really sick of it. I got bored. Mm. And then I moved to Indonesia, and then I did seven or but eight you of guys, them there. But your guys' Thanksgiving is like a month later than our well, than America's Thanksgiving. you supposed to tell anyone. Yeah. I mean, let's have a little... We have Christmas on uh, Halloween. Mm. Yes, that's what I'm saying. All right, so tell people where they could see me. Okay, so where do you... Uh, Poly Shore is available. Uh, for bar mitzvahs, birthday parties. I do start doing cruise ships. Are you I'll doing you cruise the, ships? I'll give you the agent's name, yeah. I'd love you to do the Carnival Cruise Line. All right, listen, um, I got to get out of here because my friends are texting me. Okay, but Therese, can I ask a question my before Tyrone, you go? My friend Tyrone, my friend Eddie. Wait, can I, I at least ask what? To... Okay. Can yeah. I at least ask one question? Yeah. Do you, and I think I know the answer by looking at you, do you just love, do you just adore mm. a cauliflower soup? Um, okay, all right, man. Shit, I'll see you down there at Walgreens. Wait, what are you We're doing? smash and grab. I got, I, got, yo, I got my friends down there, but I put the outfit on. I turned into... Uh, Latiqua on the motherfucking shit. Yo, man, I'm going to be down there. They ain't going to do shit because if I get arrested, ain't they going to throw it out. <laughs>
like that because Proposition 8 did not go through, so it's not a felony. I'm going to steal some shit. Honey, I'm coming home. I'm going to get some pampers. I'm going to get some tab and also scoop of ice cream for you, bitch. I'll see you later. Holland, Holland the Hershey Hershey Highway. Dude, you look like you're about to break into Siegfried and Roy's house. If Cousin It went gay, that's what you'd get. Yo, man. I'll, Where's see, you? I'll, I'll see you on the backside, motherfucker, because... I'm a motherfucking part of the cash and grab team, and we're moving inland, and pretty soon we're going to take this shit to Arkansas, Nevada. The cameras are this way, guy. Are you taking another break? Well... There he goes. He's off to the drugstore to do what he calls a smashing grab. He's dressed like, I don't know, if you went to a wax museum and melted down. Wait, he's coming back. Are you coming back? No, I heard him yelling. He's just wandering around in the studio, pestering the staff, probably touching people's hair, possibly putting butter. But, oh, I think he's coming back. Are you coming back? Here he comes, gang. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, Polly Zachary Shore, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. Thank you for having me on your podcast. Have a seat. Have a seat. We're not in character anymore. We we dropped the character, guys. We're good. We're just two gentlemen. We're going to go get a martini down at uh, Franklin Village. Oh. We're going to hang out. Okay. Yeah, so that was fun. Thanks for having me. Wait, if we're two gentlemen, should we be talking like English gentlemen? We should be talking like this, mate. Well, it's so nice to see you, Polly Shaw. It's a pleasure to see you, my friend Harlan Williams. Oh, look at you. What you been up to, eh? Bum rusher, bum rusher. Oh, a bum rusher. What's that then, eh? There's a little bit of bangers and mash now. Oh, I like that on a frosty Friday night, eh, Polly Shaw? Frosty, frosty flake. Oh, I love the frosty flakes. Oolai in the morning, Polly Shaw, I do. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're just getting started. So first question. <laughs> no, motherfucker. This, this is it. Dude, I have the Dude, right I... to ask a first question. This is a Harland Highway podcast. I have a moral obligation to these freaks watching. These freaks. Freaks. I have a duty as a professional podcaster to ask you a question. Okay, ask me a question. God, you make it. How does our friendship survive after 25 years? Mm. Look at the way we carry on like two old ladies with. And you know what's cool about it is you did some research. Polly Welly do all the, the day. day. And he smells like cheese and he looks like Christ. Polly Welly doodle all the hay. All right, first all right. question. Hang on. All right, I'll see you later. Oh, oh, wait, wait. What? what? And this is the. This is, you're going to like this one. What was one of the... And this is for real, Polly. Would you let down the fucking butterscotch guard and talk to the crowd? What was one of the most magical moments you ever had with a girl? What was one of the most enchanting moments? It could have been a one-night stand. It could have been a relationship. It could have been a marriage. What was one of the standout moments where you just went, this is magical? Well... She, uh, there was a, a woman several years ago, and she had a strap-on uh, dildo, and she was putting it in my butt, and I went, ow! And then she said, breathe, and I went, <sighs> and then it went in, and that was the magical moment. Praise Jesus, Allah. I got to go. I got I to gotta go meet my friends. I like you. Yeah, you better go after that. In fact, get the, get the fuck out after that. Ow! Ow! There Buster. he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Polly Shore. Buster. He just stood up. Oh, he walked out. You're my Unbelievable baby. interview. Uh, hard to catch him. He's like lightning in a bottle. I told you at the intro, this guy is like Flash Gordon in a dance skin. Uh, well, I'm Chinese. doing your exit. You Chinese. can't come Chinese. back in. I'm ending it. No, Chinese, tell them to watch my jam in the band show. Well, why don't you come in and you tell them? them? Well, okay. Go to his van. He's got a van full of jam. And he sleeps in a van. I think we got that the minute we saw you. I mean, you definitely wearing the fall lineup for dressed in a van 
guy. But what a guest. Um, we'll have him back one day, folks, and we'll ask him a question. We'll finally get to a question. But in the meantime, folks, check out Polly Shore at polyshore.com. Go see him do stand-up. Uh, check out his new line of mascara. He's got a wonderful uh, uh, moisturizer he does. He has foundation, the fake eyelashes, the uh, lip gloss, the Polly Shore lip gloss. Um, don't forget his skiing attire. Polly's uh, in, heavily into skiing. He, uh, it's called Polly Chalet Wear, and he has wonderful uh, full-body ski suits. He has uh, snowboards out. And let's not forget, he's uh, recently jumped into the food industry, uh, Polly's caviar. Most caviar comes from Russian sturgeons. Polly just skins dead carp on the edge of the L.A. River. And boy, oh boy, if you want to say delicious, then you have to say Polly Shore. Folks, wow, what a, what a ride. Uh, that's it for today. Until next time, everybody, you've been on the Holla Highway Podcast with Polly Zachary Shore. And until next time, chicken chow mein, baby. You're not still here, are you? Ah, shit. Do you think you could slip out? Folks, this is not the way to do sex. I don't know what he's doing in there. I don't know who it is. That's not... This, folks, this is not the way we do sex. If we've learned anything here... No. This is... This is not the way to make... This is not how you make love. This is not love making, ladies and gentlemen. This is not how you make love human to human. Can you finish, please? Okay, I think I think he's finally achieved and we're going to sign up. Okay, I think he's finally finished, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to close the doors on the Harland Highway. The exit ramp is closed. Polly has finished his sexual escapades. And we'll see you next time. Right here on the Harland Highway Podcast. Wow, I feel ill. I really feel sick, buddy. Like I'm going to puke hard.